So, welcome back everybody to part 3 of Noxer's Let's Play series um, featuring Feed the Beast um, Monster. As you may see, um, I, swept this, I swept out my um, original texture pack for Sortex because I think it's really nice and smooth. Uh, just look at this stone here. Mm, oh yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so I will be playing with that from now on. Uh, as I promised last episode, I have been doing mining. Um, off camera, and I found some pretty neat stuff needed for my uh, my next project, uh, the pulverizer. So I found gold, I found redstone, more iron, and uh, even some lapis and diamond, which is nice. Uh, I also found some weird stuff that I've not really seen before, um, but I think it would be quite useful. First of all, I found this essence dust, quite a lot of it actually, uh, almost toast, uh, over stack. So. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, I looked through this, and apparently it is used uh, together with uh, a diamond to create a infusion stone, which can then be used with even more dust to create this essence, which in, uh, in turn can be used to create seeds. Uh, so um, I can actually create dye seeds, water seeds, coal seeds, which I guess will be used for growing coal. So that's kind of cool. Fire might create lava or something, and stuff like that. And then, if you upgrade it, uh, apparently, you can get even cooler stuff, like redstone, glowstone, obsidian, and if you go all the way up here, um, you can get really awesome stuff, like diamond seeds, emerald, wither skeletons, and you can also create this, um, these orbs. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they do, but um, that could be kind of cool look into the later. I also found this Mimishite. It's a lot more uncommon than the Essence does, but this one is really sweet. What this one does is... Uh, there we go. Um, we can create these, which I'm not quite sure what they do, but the interesting part is this. You see here, there's 251 pages. That means over 500 recipes for duplicating things. So if I put an iron, iron ingot, and a Mimishite together, I get two iron ingots, and it works for a lot of stuff. So, if I ever find myself low on materials for some project I need, for some rare stuff, I can just, okay, I need copper. So I just throw a copper and some of my Mimishite in there, and I get two copper. It's really awesome. So that that that's really valuable. So I think I'll put that in there. Um, anyway, so, um, I found myself found myself low on food um, last episode. It was an internal quest for food. So I looked up how I can make my stuff that I uh, that I farm more efficient. And I found this really awesome item, a squeezer. It might not look like much, but it, this item is golden. So it's really easy to build. You just take a couple stone and put a stone here. And you got it. So it's really early game. And what this thing does is that if you take, for example, um, we can do it with tomatoes. So if I take a tomato and a glass ball, put that there, a squeezer, and a tomato here, which gives 1.5 hunger, um, and put those together, da -da -da, I get a tomato use, which gives 3 hunger. And the best part about this is that the squeezer never breaks. And if I drink this tomato juice, I'm just gonna clear my inventory a little. Um, you see, I have two glass bottles here, and I drink this. I actually get the glass bottle back, so it's pretty much free food, which is pretty awesome. Um, anyway, so you can you can do that with uh, with uh, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, what did I just do? Um, there we go. You can do this with apples, blackberries, even carrots, blueberries. Yeah, a lot of berries. Tomatoes, strawberries, and even melon. Um, so that's nice. I, I think I'm gonna live off carrots. Because carrots are easy to grow, because you don't really need any seeds, you just plant them down. So so that's nice. Anyway, so for, for today's episode, we were to build a pulverizer. Because 
polarizing things is a good thing. So we are going to need copper gear, this reception coil, machine frame, piston, yeah, the simple stuff. So well, let's build that. Um, redstone. And for, for, the, for the piston, I'm actually going to use aluminum because I, I got some of that and pretty much no iron. So yeah. Um, okay, let's see here. Jungle wood. Uh, I might actually speed this up when I do the final video. Uh, yeah. So there we go. And we need a redstone reception coil, which is redstone and gold. So that's simple. Just need to melt the gold not here. I actually try to save my um, my resources as much as possible until I get the polarizer, so I can get the most out of them. So I only melt exactly what I need right now. I think I'm gonna need this copper because yeah, I think I got exactly as much copper as I need. That's pretty nice. Cool. So let's throw that in there. Um, yeah, and we're gonna build this reception coil. There we go. So we got those. We're gonna need this machine frame. Okay, we're gonna need glass. So I think I have some sand. Yeah. So that's four. Four sand I need. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, we can use steel for this, but we're gonna go with iron, obviously. Uh, so we need to melt some iron. I think we might be a bit low on iron here. Is there anything? No, yes, I think actually we can do this with the iron we got. Cool. Okay, so uh, we're gonna need another furnace because this takes too long. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's take some of this coal out. There, there, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna need flint. I only think I got one. Never mind, I got eight flint. So that's good. Um, and we're also gonna need these copper gears, which means co cobblestone. Yeah, we need sticks. Um, like this. There we go. Let's make this really quick. We go and then we need some copper. Throw the sand in there. Um, stone gears. And we got copper gear. Yay! Um, gonna need these. Um, that. We're also gonna need one more gold. So let's create that. We got that, we almost got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. So, okay, cool. So we only need um, this, and I got the full inventory, which is very nice. We are gonna need this. Okay, cool. Uh, this crafting is really tedious. Uh, there we go. So what was it? It was flint there, copper there, um, the reception coil, and the piston. And we got ourselves a polarizer. That's awesome. Nice. So, yeah, cool. Now to power this, uh, this thing. And I could run it on coal, uh, because we got quite a lot of that. Uh, but I actually want to go with a steam version. So let's go with that. So what we're gonna need here is a steam engine. So I'm gonna go with the hobbyist because the other ones are fairly expensive because here I need a rolling machine and the industrial one is steel, so yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, and to power this one, we're gonna need steam. So um, we are going to need a steam boiler. And there is a high pressure version of this and a low pressure version. Uh, the high pressure gives more um, more steam per uh, per block, um, but takes steel to build instead of uh, iron. Um, there's no fuel 
efficiency difference, except that the high pressure one takes a bit more time to heat up. So in the beginning, it actually takes more fuel. So if you want to be as, uh, as efficient as possible, you should use the low pressure one. If you want to save some space, you go with the high pressure, high pressure one. So obviously here, I'm going to go with the low pressure because I hardly need much steam at all. So um, we're going to go with that. Also, we're going to make a so solid fueled boiler firebox. Oh, we need brick for that. Okay. Um, and a fire charge? Wait, do, do, didn't I get some? I got blaze powder. Cool. That, that's really, really useful. I, I think I got gunpowder too. Don't I? Yeah. Okay, cool. I got everything. Those, uh, the skulls that attacked me, those flying skulls out there, they were actually really useful. Thank you, flying burning skulls that explodes. Um, nice. So, let's get to building this. Um, I'm gonna start with build, build the oil tank. Um, wait. Oh, I need a rolling machine for this too. Hmm. Okay. How hard is a rolling machine to build? That can't be too hard, can it? No, we actually just need a shit ton of iron. Hmm. I don't think we have any iron, really. Um, nope, we don't really have any iron. Okay. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some... Find some iron. Um, and get back, because uh, I really want to bu build this steam machine. So, uh, yeah. I pause the video here and go get some iron. Okay, so I went out uh, digging for iron. Um, and went into one of the caves um, outside my uh, my base, and I just realized why there are flying skulls everywhere. It turns out there is a spawner, right? Oh, crap! Right here. So let's light this up so I don't get any more spawns. Oh God! Crap! Ah! Can you stop spawning? Stop spawning, damn it! Oh, okay. I think I think we're cool now. Make more light here, just in case. Ooh. Okay. Um, so I found. Oh, another word. Nice. Iron scraps. That's pretty much exactly what I need. Ha! <laughs> nice. Uh, canola seeds for rotary craft. Talk. Okay. Whoop! Oh god. Apparently they can spawn in full sunlight. This is not very good. Um, yeah, okay, um, let's seal this off for now, because I don't like dying. Okay, oh, great. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. So, I got some uh, iron scraps. I think I can turn those into... Yeah, I can turn this into iron. Nice. So, then we have 15 iron. That should be sufficient. Let's go back. Uh, that's not the way I came. Okay, let's explore this later. I don't really have time for this right now. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm getting a little lower time on the episodes because, because I like to try to keep them around 15 minutes. I, I think that's pretty much good uh, good time to be watching after that you get bored so um, yeah let's try to do this quick let's put the iron scraps in there and I will probably speed this up a little until I get the the stuff I need complete or no I, I think I'll cut it um, I'm gonna craft this rolling machine and then I'll get get back to you okay so I just crafted this um, this rolling machine and I realized I might not be a very smart man. I realized that I think this rolling machine needs power, right? Uh, place this there. Yeah, we're gonna need. Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna need Minecraft tools for this, which means that we pretty much need our our um, our steam engine before before we need it. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit stupid. So I, I think I'm gonna have to build one of one Sterling engine anyway. Um, I'm not gonna use it very long, but 
I think I got to build it. So uh, yeah, I, I'll build a starting engine. It's really quick and easy. Just uh, simple materials here, and I'll get back. Okay, so I built this thing now, um, this starting engine. So I'm just gonna put it here temporarily, and um, get this rolling machine roll, uh, rolling. I need hey, hey, rolling machine rolling. Um, I'm gonna need a redstone torch and some coal for this. So let's put that in there. And we should be getting power here, yeah. Okay, so what I need is for my uh, low pressure boiler tank, I'm gonna need two iron plates. So that's okay, that, that's pretty much just one, one go here. So let's get that rolling. Um, so we are gonna need a firebox. Um, so we're gonna go with with a fuel, uh, solid fuel, uh, five box. I'm actually gonna switch over to the liquid fuel boiler uh, as soon as possible because I have found that it's more efficient to use liquids uh, usually. So I, I will try that. Uh, but for now, we're gonna build this. So we are gonna need bricks for this. Um, I am, don't think I have much time left on this episode. So, well, at least. We managed to build a rolling machine this episode and the pulverizer. So for next next episode, we are gonna power this thing and hopefully get going on the blood magic and thorncraft. We actually have some. Um, I actually found some uh, some shards for thorncraft earlier, so I can actually build myself a um, uh, the wand. Uh, so I can make make the thorncraft th th come. Th Yes, at the Manticon. So uh, that's cool. So um, yeah, we'll see uh, see each other for episode four. See ya.